this one? Yeah. Uh, I am also rather humbled by the task assigned to me, and yet um, this has been a very intensely fascinating several hours, so I will do the best that I can. It seems to me that uh, what I heard uh, is generally an effort to rethink globally, and I found this presentation, unlike my comrade Mudal, quite um, optimistic in some regard, because the joy is in the work, and it's quite clear what the pathways of the work might be. Um, I, before I came, I read Jolie's uh, criticism in printed form for teachers and editors, and since I'm a teacher and an editor, um, I took his four points very seriously. He criticized us all, uh, for our uncritical use of theory, our ideological use of theory, the westernization that comes from paying too much attention to area studies, and for cultural Eurocentricity. Um, I think that this is a good starting point for understanding what I might take away from the really inspiring speeches and commentary of my colleagues. I, I heard several general recommendations. The first recommendation from all of the speakers was that what is important is local geography, not aerial geography or geopolitics. Um, many, many people like me in the United States come through what's called area studies, and we are taught systematically to think in large abstract areas. The presentations today argued the opposite of that, to let go of this fantasy of area and to look for uh, political networks of international capital and for alternatives um, at the ground base. There's no possibility to rework the old world order. That is a message that I've come away with and consequently, the problem is to rewrite the geography itself. A second point that I heard from all of these people was that while that it is extremely significant and important to draw on the socialist heritages of many of the pan movements and the national movements um, for liberation struggle, but this also means systemically rethinking the failures as well as the successes and possibilities inherent in those movements. For example, many of us look at the Chinese great proletarian cultural revolution. This is not to celebrate cultural revolutions, um, but to look at what might be redeemed out of the social practices of that era, era which inspired ordinary people to certain forms of self-sufficiency. Um, it means looking at the fact, the facts presented on the actual and the balloon or shadow economies and coming to terms that with the absence of fantasy about recovery. I think that's a major point that I took away from these talks. It is, as Pedro put it, surviving this unusual ontological crisis. Ontological crisis is of course general crisis, but it leaves a place for uh, people whose job is to think. A third point that I took from all of these presentations was that systemic crisis means changing not just social relations of production in communal life, um, but also a systemic recreation of thinking thinking about the world of money, systemic, fictional, corrupt, and dollar-based catastrophic concentrations of power, and thinking about the recreation of a culture um, that is uh, accepting of the diversity of men, women, and children. This theme of how the gender issue, and how the self-exploitation of children and women comes into our, our means of thinking has been a very profoundly important element of all of these presentations. 
a, a final point that I took away from all of these presentations is what South-South means. Now, South-South, like all great titles for meetings, must be at some point metaphoric. It must refer to catechistical elements, elements that um, do not have one single signified. It must be open and consequently provide a kind of optimism about the relationship between theory and practice, which of course is one of those elements of the old Maoist mass line that people are beginning to rethink once again as a possibility. But some, some as a focal point for our thinking suggests, in the way that I've listened carefully to these presentations, that there must be a political space for social justice. That might be one way to define what is self-self as a focal point. Another would be, um, and this is a repetitive theme, ways of developing non-abstract understandings of sustainability. This, I think, is what the trips have done and the presentation of uh, the knowledge that people came away with from their short brief tourism in China. Another element of the South-South as a focal point would be the reconciliation of culture that um, uh, central to our rethinking of culture may not necessarily be expertise but happiness and satisfaction as a means of focusing on cultural activities. And um, finally, the opening of the South-South as a focal point um, suggests that even in the greatest of crises, and I am convinced too that this is the greatest crisis of my lifetime, that there must be another set of options. And by and large, it is conversations like this very one which provide the possibility for thinking. In terms of specific actions, I found very valuable Pedro Perez's notion of theoretical innovation. Obviously, in my comments, that's already given. And particularly, his suggestion that the de definition of life goals around the subject, uh, a split subject, a sexual subject, split into male and female around sustainability, honoring and recognizing the liberal. In the actions proposed by Wen Tietrin, I saw the rethinking of the um, experience and ide ideologies of the recent historical past. I am a historian professionally, and to me it's impossible to think about the future without rooting it in the past. Consequently, I found this element of the suggestion of options for the future to be extremely important. Also, in Mentia Jun's presentation, the material conditions forcing certain kinds of solutions were clearly outlined. The, the relation of arable, capital, and population suggests that there are not an unlimited range of possible solutions. The solutions are made within a given context. And to me, again, as a historian and thinker, these are extremely important suggestions for future action. This opens the possibility of displacing earlier economic theories, which have caused the general blindness to realities and led to our current crisis. For moral actions, he seems very, very clear. Speculative finance capital is driving the consolidation, expropriation of ecological potential of the commons. What really must happen is remove the threat to family and ecological systems. And foremost in that, he suggests ways of thinking about alternatives which recuperate possible past means of life. On reflection, I bring away from this particular panel a desire to think from specifics. I believe that the presentation of novels and the visiting of models, both for strengths and weaknesses, is a significant means of learning. I am <coughs> reflecting that in teaching practice, 
sharing the problem of renovation of thought with students from the basic level to the graduate level is a key to pedagogy. Showing students and readers that it is in their personal as well as collective interest to enter this unusual ontological crisis and not to avoid it. To expand on and rethink the notions of new democracy and the unity of theory and practice. This is the same reflected tradition or heritage, but we have to stop, we have to start somewhere. So why not from this particular tradition? Um, I will start there. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Abano. And to all of you, uh, for the first half of the day, finally, uh, there will be a couple of announcements by Kinchi. So, we are not uh, uh, too bad in time because we still have 45 minutes for lunch. And the first